Hey friends, it's been a while since the release of iOS 18.1, but I believe many users may still be unfamiliar with it. I'm here to introduce a few hidden features to help you get a smoother experience. With iOS 18.1, let's dive in. Number 1. The New Control Center. When you pull down from the corner, you'll notice that the new control center is more colorful and has been organized into three pages. The full page visualizer displays, whatever media is playing and includes a comprehensive list of connectivity toggles. Now let me introduce hidden features you might have missed. On the first page, tapping the plus button in the corner reveals a grid where you can adjust the size and placement of any item using the tabs in the bottom corner. The items have predefined sizes they can shift between, allowing users to customize their control center layout. You can also explore a massive list of potential controls. Finally, you can customize the controls on your lock screen, which have defaulted to the flashlight and camera for ages. By holding down the screen, you can enter customization mode and configure the settings to your liking. I finally figured out where the screen recording feature is located, so handy. Another feature you might not be familiar with is the new home screen customization. You can long press any icon and drag it to any spot on your home screen. You can also long press an icon, tap, add it in the top left corner, and add widgets. There are tons of app options to choose from, covering health, work, and daily life. Super convenient. You can click, customize, to see different layout options, or choose, automatic, to let the system arrange everything for you. It's all about personalizing your home screen, and I absolutely love this feature in iOS 18.1. The third feature that might be overlooked is the calculator. When you first open the calculator app, it appears as a standard calculator which might look quite familiar. Located in the bottom left corner, there's a small toggle allowing you to switch to a scientific calculator, which is typical for many users. But if you flip it to the new feature called Math Notes, the interface transforms to resemble a notes app. This allows you to create a new note and begin handwriting mathematical equations. Remarkably, once you write an equal sign, the app can automatically solve the equation for you and will keep those results updated as you continue to write or type additional notes. The app isn't limited to simple equations, it features a variety of functions, including handling variables and even graphing capabilities. What's particularly clever, is that if you redefine a variable later in the same note, the app retains the previous value for earlier references, while applying the new value going forward. If you swipe from left to right, you can see all your previous calculations and results stored. It's a hidden yet effective tool. For many students, this feature is incredibly useful and saves a lot of time. Overall, iOS 18 has made many user-friendly upgrades that enhance the experience. If you're considering upgrading from iOS 17 to iOS 18, try using Imiphone Fixbo. It allows you to upgrade to iOS 18 with just one click. Step 1. Download Fixbo from description below. Launch it and connect your iPhone to the computer. Step 2. Enter the iOS upgrade downgrade tab. Choose the upgrade iOS as you want to get the iOS 18. Step 3. Fixbo will automatically detect your device. Once the info shows up, click the download button to get the iOS 18. Step 4. Click the start upgrade iOS button and put your iPhone into recovery mode. For iPhone 8 and above, instantly click and release the volume up key and then the volume down key. Press and hold the side button until you see this. Wait for a few minutes for the software to finish installing the iOS 18 on your iPhone. When the process is finished, your iPhone will be rebooted and you can see that your iPhone now is in the iOS 18. Enjoy exploring the new features of iOS 18. Alright, that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, comment, and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.